So Barney's going to fly his woody quadcopter with B rotor and iNav. This is me RC. And here it is. You can see it's got a lot of 3D printed parts on it. Even the GPS mount is 3D printed. This is iNav clean flight, by the way. Not regular clean flight, but iNav clean flight. There it goes. So that's just regular stabilizer. Altitude hold. Altitude hold right there. And now that's GPS hold. Nice. If I'm not doing anything. Really solid right there on the GPS hold. Thanks to the iNav programmers. And of course Barney's tinkering. Took a while to get it set up to do that though, didn't it? Yes, it did. The main thing was that GPS flip was the whole was the whole deal. Yeah, you had to change the orientation setting for the GPS. It had to be 270 degrees and flipped, which I never named any any sense because it had an arrow on it pointing forward. And the other thing I believe is crucial is you got to have the GPS aligned with your compass, right? Yes, that was the clue when I finally figured out with it sitting on the table, I had to turn it. I took a compass and set it to magnetic north. And then when the copter actually read zero on the screen, that's how I figured out the setting to use. Yeah, that was one of the tricky things. Uh, I think when you're setting one up, if you don't get that compass aligned with the GPS, it, it just kind of does funny things like toilet bowling and just taking off in the wrong mm -hmm. direction. So let's just go straight up here and see if we can see the river. Okay, let's see what's on the screen. There's a fly on the screen. That's what's on the screen. We're out to do it now. According to this, 20 meters. Going out toward the river a little bit more. This is a GoPro. Oh, a GoPro. Okay. Yeah, this is GoPro. There's Ozzy. All right. There we are. We're looking at ourselves now. Yeah, it's way up there. So how many feet were 52 you? 52 meters is what it said. Look, a flying oh, pig. Oh. <laughs> In GPS mode, you got to push really hard to go anywhere. So I don't really like flying around in GPS holes. I like using it to hold my position. It does work though. I mean, he's been like right there with the wind blowing. Yeah. I'll turn it back on. And you can see it, just see, it'll just lay right into the wind. You know, just sit there and work to hold its position. It holds really oh, good. Two meters. That's close to two meters. Yeah. It's two meters from where you took off, right? Also, too, it's from where we took off, see? Yeah. Well, which was up here somewhere. Right, which was up here. It's such a slope here. Isn't about, it? like, right there. Yeah. So that makes sense. That's just one meter, so that's about right. The whole thing was just that compass, and once I got that compass straightened out, I mean, this thing works great. All together, the GPS and the board and everything is less than 100 bucks, where that vector is 237. Oh yeah, yeah, iNav really saves the money. Get these cheap flight controller yeah. boards. So what version of iNav? Is that 1.9? I think it's 1.9. And the way it works, you can't tell a bit of difference between it and the vector. Both of them hold their position good. Yeah. They'll lay right into the wind. Oh, look at this. There's a hexacopter version. Okay, we'll get that in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox. Thanks for watching.